Hi everyone, welcome to GoFry's YouTube channel and in this episode, we'll have a look at the cooling solutions from AMD. More details right after this. Now before we begin, let's have a look at the coolers from AMD, which are the Wraith Stealth, the Wraith Spire and the Wraith Max. The Wraith Stealth is a cooler without LED and it's the bundled cooler with the Ryzen 3 1200, Ryzen 3 1300X and Ryzen 5 1400. The Wraith Spire on the other hand comes in two variants, one with RGB LED and one without. The one without the RGB LED is the bundled cooler for the Ryzen 5 1600 and 1500X, while the Wraith Spire RGB model is the bundled cooler for the Ryzen 7 1700. Lastly, we have the Wraith Max. Now, the Wraith Max is not a bundled cooler, but it is a top-of-the-line cooler from AMD that's available as a standalone purchase. The Wraith Max also comes with RGB LED rims. The key difference between the Wraith Spire and the Wraith Stealth is the size. The Stealth is of a shorter profile, while the Spire comes with a copper base for better heat absorption. The Wraith Max on the other hand is of a different level to altogether. Not only does it have a different base, it also has thinner fins, overall bigger structure, copper heat pipes going through the heatsink itself. Now on with the benchmark. Starting off the Cinebench R15. As you can see, all the coolers work great. You'll see an auto and max here. Auto just means the RPM is set by the system based on the temperature reading. It fluctuates based on the temperature reading. While at max, it means the fan is running at the maximum RPM. Bear in mind, I am running a 20% overclock of the Ryzen 7 1700 over the base clock and it's running at 1.375 V core. However, the Cinebench R15 is a short test because the Ryzen 7 1700 is a powerful processor. So on with the bench, the other benchmark which is the ASUS Real Bench, of which I ran the test for 5 minutes. As you can see from the results, it's not as good as what it seems. Only the Wraith Max perform very well, while the Spire and Stealth are performing at unacceptable levels. Well, that doesn't mean these heat sinks are not good, it's just that this processor is of many cores, it's overclocked and it's running at high voltage. So for your general purpose, Ryzen 3, 5 or 7 with some overclock with minimal voltage boost and all that, it'll work just fine. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Looks like the stock cooler where people think, oh it's not enough to cool my processor, is actually very good. Even in this case, it's a 1700X with 10% overclock with voltage bump and it works. Short term spikes of load, it will work just fine. Long um, load, like for example, if you're doing video rendering or that, well, as you can see from the results, the Spire and Stealth doesn't work that well on an overclock system, but rest assured, if you're running on stock or mild overclock with minimal voltage bump, it will work just fine. All right. That's it for this video. I'm Brian for Gold Fries. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Bye bye.